let's talk seats for a minute. Um, this vehicle is going to be used primarily for traveling, a little camping. Um, so I've decided to go with comfortable seats. Most schoolies or rebuilds have a couch right here. Couch on the other side. Couches fold out to make a bed. Sometimes there's a, uh, a little breakfast seating thing here with facing seats. Um, the problem with that is, you know, sitting on plywood with a tiny cushion does not make for comfortable traveling for days and days on end, you know. So I've abandoned the couch and the SETI idea and decided to use regular old seats, vehicular seats. Um, these seats uh, I think are going to work pretty well. I'll show them to you. This is a uh, seat I got off, the, off of eBay. It came out of a Mercedes Sprinter van. I think it was made by Toyota. It's brand new. Um, out of a firm in California that retrofits Sprinter vans into uh, custom campers and that kind of stuff. So they buy a a Sprinter van. Uh, I think this was an activity van. It had uh, like eight of these seats in it. Standard passenger seats and uh, I researched it and this was actually made by Toyota. Um, and then they sell them on eBay. I got these two of these seats for like 200, 250 bucks a piece. Brand new OEM Mercedes passenger seats. It doesn't get any better than that. Um, these are interesting in that they're a, a good seat but they're mounted on steel mounts that are normally bolted to the chassis floor. The little lever here the, that mounting system comes right off and uh, my wife wants these seats to rotate so they can be turned sideways, backwards, forwards. So again, on the internet, I found uh, seat swivels, seat base swivels. It just so happens the swivel that will fit these bolt holes or be pretty close to it to where I can drill and cut. Or out of a uh, 65 Dodge van. And so I bought two swivels out of a 65 Dodge van. The internet's just amazing. And I'll go ahead and show how uh, I attach this thing to uh, a 1965 swivel. And the objective is that we have two extremely comfortable traveling seats. That will also serve as a social need, turn sideways, turn backwards, so that two people can talk. We can put a, you know, a card table or a folding table in here and actually have an entertained guest. But the primary purpose of these seats is a comfortable place to uh, sit while traveling. So I'll go ahead and flip it and we'll see how we bolt these things to some 65 Dodge van swivels. Well, here we are with the um, with these van bases. This is a swivel base. Um, these damn things. I mean, this thing weighs 25, 30 pounds. Substantial hunk of steel. It's four ply, quarter inch steel. It has a uh, lazy susan circular ball bearing uh, in the center. So the idea being, of course, that it will um, survive an impact, a crash, and uh, will be easy to spin. This thing is a lever which unlocks it. I'm going to put that to the rear of the seat so it doesn't interfere with the sides or the front, um, front feet area. Here's the base from the uh, Toyota seats. and. It just fits on there. Of course the bolt holes don't line up. 
so I'm going to have to uh, I'll keep these holes and I'll just drill the base four holes um, I think that'll work out just fine I bought a bunch of these um, M8 M8 uh, stainless nuts and bolts. I'm just going to use these. But the holes really want to be M10s, but I'm not going to burn up uh, M10s on the stupid base. I'll just use M8s, crank it down real good, and that'll work. Plus, I got a bunch of these, so uh, that's what I'll do. So, the procedure is pretty simple. You get the, the base lined up. In areas where the uh, drilling the bolts out will work, and um, mark it like that. I'm actually I'm not going to freehand these holes. I mean, this steel is uh, substantially thick, so I'm going to take these down to the drill press so I can. Get a nice clean, nice clean pressure on a bit, and cut these holes round. Um, so that's that. Be back in a minute. Coming to an end. Somebody had passed and dropped a bomb. is mounted to the swivel base. That's how, it, that's how it works. And then the seats just click right into this. And I'll bolt the swivel base to the uh, floor of the bus. And it'll be swivel seats. Teach me, teach me, teach me how it's done wrong. singing it was cloudy look like it was gonna rain
It looked like it was gonna rain Looked like everything that happened in my town Hell yeah! They sound blame, they sound the blame <clears throat> Well, alrighty then, here, we got two passenger seats This thing spins around it locks. It locks in the back there. To review, what we got is a, a Toyota passenger seat out of a. I think it's out of a fat uh, Toyota Sienna van. It was in a Mercedes Sprinter van. I think it was an activity, a mini bus, activity bus. Came out of a Mercedes Sprinter van. The base is from a Mercedes Sprinter van, and the swivel is out of a 65 Dodge camper van. So we got Toyota, Mercedes, Dodge. But that's the way um, that's the way you have to do these things. Uh, otherwise, if you try to go all straight the same manufacturer you never find it and if you make the stuff yourself it just ends up being crap the best to use uh, OEM parts fab them up so they work for your purpose and you end up with something that's uh, pretty nice so spinneroo Nice passenger seats. These are gonna these are gonna work well. Thank you. You can tell by the rain at the bell. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going to heaven or hell.